الزراعة في البر شيء صعب ومو بهين كان الزرع يذبل وكنا نعاني من اليوم خاصة إذا وقف عنا المطر إلها السبب كنا نتحول من مكان لمكان وندور الزرع والماي أذكر في يوم من الأيام زارني ريال في بيتي وقال لي إن الماي وصل مزرعته لكن في البداية ما كان شو يقصد ولكن من هاك اليوم الله اكرمنا ووصل الماي للزرع بشكل دائم الحمد لله الحمد لله بعدني اذكر كيف كانت شواطينا قبل المواني كانت المحامل والمراكب مجبوره انها توقف بعيد عن السير وكانوا يستخدمون القوارب الصغيره عسب تنقل البضايع من المحامل للسير نقل البضايع وايد يتعب ويبالي وقت وايد وناس تشتغل كل هذا راح وصار وايد أسهل ويا المين الكبير اللي بفضله صارت المراكب ترسي على السير مباشرة هالشيء ساعد على تأمين الأكل وكل الاحتياجات الضرورية لكل البيوت في وقت واحد دوم كان الخلاف على الأراضي والحدود هو سبب المشاكل بين جبايلنا هالخلافات كانت تتم أيام وشهور حتى أنها كانت تتطور للحروب بينهم يوم الأيام زار ريال حكيم الجبلتين وسمع القصة من الصوبين وبعد استشارة شيوخ الجبلتين دعاهم للصلح وانتهى الموضوع بفضل هالريال الحكيم بالمصالحة بين الكل وراحت المشاكل بلا رد أنا تربيت في بيت متواضع وكنت أدرس وأشتغل بنفس الوقت لأن عائلتي كانت تعتمد علي في كل شيء دوم أحلم بحياة أفضل لي ولهم أبويا هو مثلي لعلى لأنه يباني مثقفة متعلمة ومستقلة واليوم أنا فخورة بتخرجي وأن حلمي يتحقق مشكور أبويا ومشكور لكل شيء سويته عشاني أنك تحصل العلاج الصح لأي مرض يبالي جهد ووقت كبير لدرجة أنه كان صعب علي أشوف عيالي مدة طويلة قدوتي وحلمي ان يكون لي نفس صفاته عسى بساعد مجتمعي بكل اللي اقدر عليه واللي خلاني اجتهد في شغلي هو كلام معلمي الحقيقي وخاصه مساعده المحتاجين لان هذا هو اهم شيء بالنسبه له ولي قدوتي شخص ما له مثيل هو شخص كريم 
ما يهمه غير مساعدة الناس وخاصة المحتاجين والمرضى في بلاده وبكل العالم هالريال هو مثل الأعلى وأبغي أكون نفسه يوم أكبر هديت حق أرضنا الحياة شكرا لأنك جبت العالم لوطننا وقدمت لنا كل شيء محتاج يعيش هالصالح اللي أسس حاكمنا العظيم من كل قلبي هذه لك أبوي أنت ملهمي في شغلي وفي نجاحي هذا كله بفضل مثلي الأعلى وقائدي ووالدي ومعلمي الشيخ زايد من سلطان آل الهيان طيب الله ثراه Please put your phones on silent and to fill the form to know more about your opinion for the development for coming events. Peace be upon you all. On behalf of uh, His Excellency uh, Senator Suwaidi, the chairman of the ACSSR, I welcome you here where we meet this evening in a lecture titled Zaid and the Consolidation of the Concept of Happiness presented by His Excellency Dr. Abdullah al Niyadi, the chairman of Al-Tawasul International Tent. Dr. Abdullah al Niyadi graduated from Zaid Military College in 1979 and rose through the military ranks to become a staff colonel. He worked as an instructor at the command of and staff colleges in both the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. He was appointed to various leadership and administrative positions, including deputy director of the office of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zaid al Nahyan. He received a master's degree in military science from the Command and Staff College in Egypt and honorary doctorate from the Council of Egypt Scientists and Creators. Dr. Al Niyadi is the chairman of uh, Al Tawasul International Tent and Real Time Training and Development Center and the chairman of the Higher Organizing Committee for the Promotion of Happiness Among Leaders and, pro and Peoples. He, he also has a number of contributions and initiatives in the fields of communication and happiness, in addition to his efforts to, in supervising the academic training of many UAE nationals and organizing conferences, academic forums, and training programs in the fields of crisis and disaster management, teamwork skills, and development of behavioral and administrative skills. He has recently published a book titled The Vision of the Man of International Communication on promoting happiness among leaders and peoples. And now it's my pleasure to uh, welcome him to present his uh, lecture. Please proceed. In the name of God, the most merciful, the most mighty. Your Excellencies, brothers and sisters, our uh, media ch uh, people and children, Today we're going to talk about a topic that is one of the most important topics, which is the topic of Zayed and happiness. And when we mention Zayed, the name is connected to happiness because Zayed, uh, Zayed, the good, he is like water. Wherever he, whatever he touches, grows. I remember a scene from my childhood about Zayed. It was in. In Al Ain region, there were uh, storms and rain, and Zayed Al Khair, Zayed the Good, always checks his ch children and comes out to check on them. So when he reached the region where we were there, at a village that is 20 kilometers away from Al Ain city, Mizyad village, the the wind the wind the winds were so hard that. It knocked the door on my mo mom, uh, and she was bleeding. Zayed came, and we were children. There were no cars there. My father went out, 
and he and he saw Zayed. So he, Zayed asked my father, "What's what's the what's the issue?" He said, "My wife had the door uh, falling over her." He ordered uh, a car. He had two cars, his and another car, and they emptied the other car for my mother, and they transferred her, transported her to a hospital. And Zayed made sure. He said, "Tomorrow, let's see you to." to make sure that your wife is all okay. On the second day, uh, the father, my father met Zaid and he said, how is everything? She said, she's okay. And imagine, my brothers and sisters, there were two cars. He emptied one of them, which stayed for a week with my mother to draw happiness on, on that, uh, for, or that family's faces. My family is now known all over the UAE. That's the real father. That's a real father who always draws a, a smile on the faces of his children. Zayed is close to us. When, when his, his Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, when he said, we are a unified house, we are a, a, a single house, that's, that's an example. Zayed used to go and check on his children to draw smiles on the faces of his children. Zaid's main concern was how to make his people happy. I remember also one of the uh, situations when we were a child, when we visited Zaid in Al Hassan uh, Palace, and at the time, the number, the number of tribes that were around Sheikh Zaid was uh, limited. There was a, a camp, uh, a welcoming camp for a week or two weeks, where tribes come in, they gather and they eat and drink, and then they are honored uh, from uh, the goodness of Sheikh Zayed because he is li just like rain. Whenever you visit him, you see happiness and mercy. And if he visits you, you would also find the same things. This is the great instructor, the great father, this international uh, person, which we ask God Almighty that we, he would make us good children to him. My brothers and sisters, what do people, what do a person wish from his father? Why do we always ask for good for our parents? Because the father uh, uh, teaches and helps you uh, get a job and marry and provide you with a place to live in. That's all what Sheikh Zayed did. That's why the children of this country, both the residents and the expatriates, the residents, the locals and the residents, they follow his path, the path of mercy and love, this international path. And that's why we tried to use this humble mechanism uh, through the last 40 years from the effort of one of the locals, 40 years in comparison to 100 years. So did, I, did we succeed or not? 40% we still have 60% going on uh, ahead of us so we still haven't reached to reach the international the international world to the entire world to spread the uh, concepts and the, uh, the the goodness and the mercy and love of sheikh zaid i'm talking here on 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 my behalf a, a, a son of this country about the al tawassul tent from the beginning of that of the idea till this date Till 2018, 29th of August 2018, for 40 years we've been going on. 40 years from an effort of a single local who is following the path of uh, Zayed, may God rest his soul. That when, when Zayed talks about humanity, he's talking about the entire humanity. He's such a, a big heart. He's mercy. One, one of my dear uh, brothers told me, and he, who was one of the, he was one of the companions of Zayed. Zayed is like a father. He's a paternal father. He sometimes he goes hard, a little bit hard on on one of his children, on that person, and that person was upset. He didn't see, meet uh, Zayed for a long time, and Zayed asked, "Where is that person?" And he said, "They told him, Your Highness." Uh, you had a little bit of a harsh treatment with that person. So Zayed went silent. So one day, 
Zai didn't tell anybody. He went and visited the, the place of that person in his residency. And, and uh, the workers there were surprised. And they welcomed uh, Zaid and they, they brought coffee to him. And he asked, where's that person? And he's, they told him, he didn't come today. They told, he told them, give me your, uh, num his number. He called him and he talked to him. And when he asked, who's this? He said, Zaid. He said, Zaid bin Sultan. He said, is there another Zaid you know? He said, Zaid? He said, where are you, your highness? I said, I'm, I'm at your farm. And he said, he said, I'm not going to come. Uh, to, uh, all of it is yours, your highness. And he was at the western region. He said, I'm going to come barefoot just to your, to your palace. This is being well raised. This is the unity. This is love between Zaid and his children. And there are a lot and a lot of stories that show that Zaid is a real father. Someone who raises you up. We lived in the outback. And if it wasn't for, for Zaid, may God rest his soul in peace. If he didn't convince my parents to come to send us to school, we I wouldn't be sitting here between you. All of my family are Bedouins. So a son, a son of the desert always wants to be with his father. That's why Zaid has convinced my parents. And he established a military school in Abu Dhabi, in a college in Abu Dhabi. And, and the school in Abu Dhabi, that, at which now 90% of the military personnel in the country <laughs> are graduates over there from Al Abu Ubaida school. And he used to attend all of the events at that school himself. I remember one of those events was, was in between the students from a military side and uh, the uh, cavalry uh, side, and Zaid was there. This was in the, in the 70s of the last century, maybe 1975, and I was young. And when my horse uh, heard a, sh uh, a shotgun or a shot, he was afraid. He told them, bring this kid to me. He wanted to make sure that that kid was not injured. That's a father. How many situations we remember that that we don't remember our parents caring about us as much as father uh, as uh, our father Zaid because he's a real father when we're talking we're talking from our hearts and not by our tongues when we're talking about Zaid as if he's still living with us Zaid the good Zaid the merciful Zaid the knowledge that's why when we established Al Tawasul International Tent to spread the uh, the culture of Zayd al Khair through uh, al Majalis Madaris, we uh, uh, we categorized them into five categories, which Zayd Majlis Zayd, how how Zayd used to uh, invite his uh, guests, how he used to teach, and how he used to discuss with the ministers and the scientists. He's he's a school. Uh, uh, a world where people can benefit from that majlis. The other majlis or seating, I called it the, the majlis of, of seasons. Zayed in, during winter is different from Zayed during summer. He has a majlis during winter where he meet, gathers with, with the Bedouins where, where come, they come with their horses and camels and they have these um, these games and they're all happy and he makes sure that they are enjoying their time and i remember i was an eyewitness when he came to our region and my brothers and sisters we all become happy when when zaid comes everybody comes with their with their um with their sheep and goats and and camels to show zaid what they have it's like someone trying to show his father what they have so my father presented one of her, his camels that had milk in her. And, and everybody, uh, every time someone passes by, he, he brought the camel in front of Zayed to milk it and to present him fresh milk. The, the camel did not produce milk. He is the sage of Arabs, Zayed. He understands the language of animals and birds. So he told him, Ali, take the camel for, for 30 minutes away and then bring her back. 
And my, my father said, I took her away, and less than half an hour later, he, he signed for my father to come and bring her and to milk her. And it, it, she produced. He told him, Ali, which is my father, she might have been afraid, frightened from the presence of people. So this is the language of Zaid with the people of, of, of the desert, of Bedouins. He, he talks in their language, with, in a language of love and happiness. Each one of us, uh, Zaid wanted to draw a smile on every one of us, the young and the old, the man and the woman. Everybody wanted to be happy with Zaid. That's why this happiness and this love that came from towards Zaid is from our hearts. That's why Zaid, when he was, when he was doing something, a good deed, he, he was, he asked media people not to spread that, and I remember, or not to show a coverage of it. I remember in one country, Zaid was there, and he's uh, uh, there was a, a person who said Zaid did this and that, but we didn't see it on on newspapers, and Al Rumaythi was there. He ordered him not to publish anything because Zayed did that for God. All presidents and scientists have done deeds and they mentioned their deeds, but, but nobody remembers them now. But Zayed was not mentioned back then, but now and after and the after he's going to, to be mentioned because he did that for, the, for God. That's why you see always there's continuous goodness and this international persona that, or personality that we still learn from it. We and our children, we're going to learn from this international school that is Zayed. This is the Majlis, in uh, his summer Majlis, sometimes he sits down with his children and there's a lot of dates showed in front of him. It's like an exhibition where Zayed discusses all types of dates. What is this kind of date? This thing, this is this uh, type, uh, grow more of it, or uh, this one is a little bit weak, the season is weak, the, the yield is weak, no, uh, provide more water. He used to teach them how to grow. That's why Zaid in every season was a, was a school to learn from. The third majlis, I called it, or I named it, Ramadan majlis. Zaid used to invite uh, scientists from all over the world and discuss with them. And I think most, most of the sheikhs and the scientists uh, who are here have attended those maj that majlis. My brothers and sisters, Zayed understand the nature of scientists. If he was from a Bedouin, he he takes him to the western region or to Al Ain. But if he was a, a city scientist, because he knows the questions that that cross the minds of his children, so those uh, scientists go to mosques. And then he invites them at the last 10 days of Ramadan and asks them, what are the questions? What are the questions that are asked by my children, by, by the nation? And this is wisdom. To, to, to draw smiles and happiness on their faces. And then he uh, gifts those scientists. And every year, those scientists come from the world and they... Uh, they prayed and wished for him after his passing. The fourth majlis, the majlis of uh, crisis management, which, of course, because of, due to my speciality in uh, crisis management, I dedicated uh, my time for it. And we uh, asked scientists about this, uh, uh, this category. And hopefully in the, com in the coming, or in the soon future, in the coming future, Together with uh, Mr. Jamal and the ACSSR, we're going to have a, uh, uh, a research about that, which is my doctorate uh, uh, study. When Zayed used to, uh, to do crisis management, he used to go with his children there. If, if there was, uh, God forbid, uh, there is some issue or conflict between tribes, Zayed, may God press his soul or rest his soul in peace, he used to go there establish a tent, set a tent, and stays there till the issue is resolved as a father between his children. We ask God Almighty to forgive him and to make, to make everything he did in his, uh, in, uh, in his good deeds because he was, a wise, uh, was very wise in crisis management. There's a lot of examples, but this is, 
a speciality we're going to talk about at a later at another uh, time the fifth majlis which is uh, zaid outside the majlis of zaid outside the country this majlis when when zaid used to go to any country he used to ask the embassy uh, he used to ask to bring uh, all of the uh, locals the emiratis that are studying uh, abroad including also businessmen and all of the residents of the UAE or the locals of the UAE that are living, the nationals that are living outside. And he used to sit down with them and to understand uh, their mentalities in order to help them and support them to, uh, and, and he used to pay to every uh, student $3,000. Even if, even if you met him in India and you met him in, in the States and you were staying there for just a week, you would find that uh, money waiting for you as a support for those who seek knowledge. He used to support his students, uh, his children that are studying anywhere, and also to support businessmen, uh, his na the nationals that are business somewhere else. He used to ask them, how is the economy, how is the factories there? And one of our uh, colleagues, uh, God bless him, or may God bless his uh, efforts, asked uh, Zaid, to set a, an agricultural uh, project in one Arabic country, uh, Zaid asked for a, a study, a case study about the uh, about the project, which uh, which Zaid uh, liked and uh, blessed it, and he said, "I would wish that you would do this project for for the people that are living there," and he said, "Sure, I'll do that." Two years later. He met with the project owner and he said, how is the project? He said, it's one of the best projects and we use the latest technology. I said, I, don't, I, I, said, I, didn't, I told you not to do it for the sake of technology, but for the sake of people that are living there. So he asked to visit the place. He went and he checked and he saw that everything is, has, has been uh, remote controlled or remote managed. He ordered to have more than 500 women uh, to work there and are all widows the man is still alive and he said as if Zaid has studied the area and he knew that there are 5,000 widows that have children and are living there and in need of a work a year later Zaid visited and he saw that the women that are working in the project and the children are playing on the edge of this big uh, farm that is being uh, and this whole project has been supported by uh, Sheikh Zaid and he ordered to establish or to build a school for the uh, project and it's currently in one of the strongest projects that is ongoing in the Arab region or the Arab uh, world. This is how Zayed uh, draws smiles and happiness inside and outside the country. That's why my brothers and sisters, as no matter how much we talk about Zayed, the good, we will not do him just. We communicate through all social media, we concluded what is the percentage in order for me not to be unjust for what we are doing in Al Tawasul, he is a father for everyone. When we say, when we mention Zayed, everybody has agreed in loving him. Everybody loves Zayed. Almost by instinct, not just Muslims and and people of the book like Christian and Jew uh, and Jews, but everybody, because he works for God, he works for human. He wor he does good for humans because God has blessed humans, and that's why Zaid is with us, and Zaid is always is he he is always on the increase in our thoughts as nationals and residents and expatriates as people who love this personality and each one of us in his speciality should study the methodology of Zayed. A doctor who, who, who specialized in uh, acceptance and tolerance in, in agriculture should also adopt his methodology or in agriculture. This is the international school that we wish that in the Arab world we would have uh, similar methodologies with these with these wise majalis of the sage of Arab. He built this country through majalis. That's why His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, bin Zayed 
has supported these uh, back up this majalis for his children so we would have a unified uh, generation that is loving and tolerant and accepting and this we are still on the same path and thank goodness and thank god we we congratulate ourselves and our loved ones that the UAE is in good is in good hands and there is always uh, on the rise and in good hands because everybody uh, ag agrees that this is a country of happiness tell me which country has a ministry of happiness or for tolerance and there are a lot of new ministries that are coming to come up uh, following the path of Sheikh Zayed this personality regardless of how much we talk about we will not do it just but we tried with our humble efforts th during the last 40 years which we just covered 40 percent and we're still so we would not do unjust for international tawassal. Now we opened our branches in China and in the US and, and many countries that teach this, this concept of happiness and tolerance and acceptance, this international concept. And God willing, pretty soon, the UAE, God's willing, is going to be a hub for uh, love, love and, uh, and peace and acceptance and tolerance. And thank goodness that the children of Sheikh Zayed are on the, his path. And that's why one of uh, our colleagues from Japan, when I uh, mentioned uh, the story about the widows to them, he said, D did the children, are you following the same path? And I, we said, yes, this is a school. This is a method that we're following. And that's why, my brothers and sisters, God's willing, every day, you will see the UAE on the rise and in development, the, enti the entire world migrates here. They bring their children and their money because they found here peace, they found stability. Have you heard one day, or you will hear one day, that someone was stolen here or, or has been, or, or has been uh, questioned, where do you get your money from? No, we don't have that. We've never heard that. In some countries, they support you till they back you up till you they they feed you till they steal you. But here, when you when you rise up, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed comes and supports you and stands by your side because they support success. That's why this success, this success provides stability. This success provides stability for businessmen for the people of the society, even presidents, when they end their presidency, they come to the UAE, they get a, a residence, and they live with their children with all, in all decency and, and respect here, because we have peace and stability and happiness everywhere here, thank goodness. That's why, my brothers and sisters, I remember in a beautiful uh, uh, case when we had a, lect a lecture in uh, Burj Al Arab to, for, for leaderships. And I was going to open the uh, course. And I, on, on purpose, I brought with me a small stick. And one of the, uh, one, uh, one colleague from, or a brother from uh, the Arab world, he laughed and he said, where, is this, where does this guy come from? From the desert, bringing his stick with him? I, on purpose, brought my stick with me. So, I said, this stick, this is what uh, Zayed the Good has drew the map of the UAE on the sand. This is the stick when we, you move from Ras al Khaimah to Al Guifat, there is not an, a single inspection point. This simple stick in which Zayed, may God rest his soul, uh, has drew the, the map with, of the UAE with. That's why, regardless of how much we talk about, Time, of course, regardless of how much we talk about Zayed the Good, we will not do just to this international person, persona, personality, but we as, as good children, as good sons and, and, and daughters, we talk here from real facts that we lived with this personality. We didn't uh, transfer it or talk about it from books or read it in books. Till now, not a single I haven't wrote a single paper regarding this lecture. 
because I lived, uh, I lived with this personality. And there is a lot of situations that I cannot talk about. Uh, because if I talk about them, I'd my tears would shed. I would shed tears. Because this, this is not a normal personality. This is not a normal human being. This is not something that a nor an ordinary human being can do. And there's a lot of them. Zayed's main concern was how to draw happiness on us. One of uh, officers uh, from my family in a, in a lane, and he saw a, a woman and, and her husband that were in a hurry. And say, Zayed, Zayed came and said, why are you in a hurry? And he, he said, she, she, she's in labor and she's going to deliver. And he said, this is our phone. And if someone stops you and, uh, uh, and uh, tell, uh, tell me about that, the newborn. They were, he was named Zayed and he still gets money f uh, on behalf of Sheikh Zayed till today. Zayed was just like water like rain wherever he touches goes green we ask god almighty that what he does is all in is going to be in his good deeds uh excuse me for taking too long and peace be upon you all now we're going to see a, a small video or a documentary الرجال هي اللي تصنع تصنع المصانع الرجال هي اللي تصنع Men are the ones that 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 build factories and happiness Men uh, make their uh, present and the future <تصفيق> على تبني جائزة الكتاب ما كتب في زايد الخير ونحن في عام زايد الخير ونحن نساهم في كتاب إسعاد القيادات والشعوب ونحن We wish happiness for our leadership This book has been translated to more than 200 languages dedicated to Zayed May God bless his soul God rest his soul in peace and thank you very much تخيل الشوق بفوادي أحبك يا وطن وطجل خيوط الشمس لعيونك أحبك كلمة عاشت معي من يوم ميلادي أحبك فرض يجبرني أموت بتاك واصونك سيدي صاحب السمو الشيخ محمد بن زايد Your, Your Highness الشيخ محمد بن زايد is not a stranger these are all uh, national uh, initiatives when we talked with our dear sheikhs i said as we have became the happiest uh, nation we wish that our leadership is the happiest leadership <laughs> we consider this honoring an honor to all all for our orthodox uh, residents that are uh, living in the UAE and at the same time we consider this uh, initiative as a as a part inseparable part from the path of his highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan the president of the country may God uh, preserve him and and his brothers uh, the sheikhs and the leaders of this great country this honoring is not an honoring to my person but to every uh, person in my church. I've, I've visited a lot of countries, a lot of places, and I haven't seen a, a country that preserves uh, acceptance and tolerance and respects the other as much as I've seen in this great and lovely country. Today, he has been crowned with a, with a medal and, uh, and to have him as an ambassador for uh, loyalty and happiness 
to spread happiness uh, in the UAE regard through all religions and sects and has as his highness Sheikh Muhammad bin Zayed has said we are a unified home and as we are living these blessed times uh, and we're loyal to our leadership <laughs> We have signed 9 million signatures. On this clean beach in the capital of Abu Dhabi, our uh, divers are going to head to the sea to sign in the depth of the water uh, under the title, Thank you, Your Highness Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed. Uh, we're all with you. We have 365 happiness ambassadors that have that are contributing to the happiness of this leadership that has caused us happiness thank you your very much your highness we're all with you <laughs>
Thank you, Your Excellency, Doctor, has, has Your Excellency, Dr. Abdullah Al Niyadi, for this beautiful lecture, where you mentioned the efforts of uh, the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, may God rest his soul in peace, to consolidate the concept of happiness in the UAE among both locals and expatriates living in the in its territory. In addition to you showcasing some of the uh, uh, of the personality of the late uh, Sheikh Zayed that showed his keen uh, efforts to uh, for the happiness of people and uh, and hum and humankind and the environment and education anyone who has a question please do stand up uh, present yourself and uh, ask your question any questions or intervention please proceed dr hashim mansouri in reality we would like to thank His Excellency Dr. Al Niyadi for this uh, lecture, th this uh, valuable and uh, educational uh, lecture. My dear, it's it's been uh, shown in a lot of uh, researches, not just the uh, Oriental or uh, Eastern or Middle Eastern uh, or Arab studies, but international ones, where. He, The late Sheikh Zayed said, I don't want my people to just remain, but I want them to elevate. Could you please uh, teach us more about what he meant by that? Thank you. And God bless you. Thank you, Dr. Hashem. Of course, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, Zayed, as I've said, he's a parent. And as a father, no one wa wants, uh, wants you to be better than him ex uh, ex except your father. So, uh, and you, the one who you teach, Zaid always wished to see his children, the children of this nation, especially abroad, to be uh, on the level, on, on a vi on a very high and uh, classy level. And uh, thanks to his efforts, uh, our children are now uh, we are uh, we are proud to have them. Especially Sheikh, uh, his, his Highness Sheikh, Z Sheikh uh, Khalifa bin Zayed, may God bless him. And uh, like our leadership uh, um, puts its faith in us, we put our faith in, in it. And it became a leadership that, that deserves this adm admiration and, and this uh, thanking from our side. When we wrote this book, it's a, it's a, it's a practical implementation This is the first time in history where someone uh, writes uh, about making or delighting leaderships. We have happy nations, but no one talked about happy leaderships. We wanted to uh, to pay back some of uh, of uh, of uh, what has been done by our leadership. Thank you very much for your good question. In the name of God, the most merciful, the most compassionate and blessings on the uh, Prophet Muhammad. Aisha Abdullah Rahim, Rahim the first uh, ambassador for happiness in the uh, Al-Tawasul program. I wanted to clarify something. Dr. Abdullah al Nayadi, as, as an international uh, uh, person, has been done by Sheikh Zayed. This path has been done by uh, yourself, doctor, all over the world. You've went all over the world. The, the love for Sheikh Zayed is everywhere because he did that communication, that, that connection, where he did it in reality, in a, in, in a realistic way, inside his country, with all Muslims and with every nation, nationality and every person from every religion. So what is the common characteristics between him and his children The Al-Tawasul tent, which has reached the furthest uh, reaches of the earth, loyalty is found in people. Wherever the doctor used to go, and I, I accompanied him on this entire path, and I used to see things that can, can, would, would shed, make us shed tears because people love the UAE so much. And this is all because of, of Sheikh Zayed, because he was a good man. He was not just an ordinary man. Now, all nations love the UAE, and al Tawasul tent is everywhere. We're very happy and delighted with you, uh, 
Your Excellency. And we want to thank the UAE, both leadership and the nation, because it deserves happiness. Because this is the first time a leadership uh, makes everybody happy and not just its nation happy. That's why, as we, nations of the world, we want to thank you, the people of the UAE. Thank you very much, you, the sons of and daughter of Zaid. Thank you, Dr. Niadi, Niadi because you taught us the real communication uh, path and way. Thank you very much. Taysir Suleiman, I am. I was there, in the big and when Al Tawassul International Tent was set. I am very proud and honored that I I got to know uh, His Excellency Dr. Abdullah Niadi, the uh, chairman of Al Tawassul International Tent. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for this efforts and this valuable lecture. My question is, you. Your Excellency, during the lecture, you've mentioned some situation that you lived uh, during your childhood. What I would like to suggest or to ask for is currently, how can we currently gather or, or combine a lot of uh, humanitarian uh, situations where the UAE has done, where the, Sheikh Zah, the late Sheikh Zayed has done with both the nationals and the residents. How can we gather all of these situations from the old timers that are still alive, both nationals and residents, so we can gather them together? So it would be a, a, um, a lighthouse or um, a compass to guide uh, current and coming. Uh, generations. Uh, thank you. I remember in the 70s, Sheikh Mohammed, uh, uh, or rather in the 90s, uh, uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed has said, let's document uh, and write all, all of these situations. However, uh, days pass fast and all timers uh, pass. Uh, however, there is a lot of known personalities that are there, still here with us, and God's willing, uh, 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 Mr. Jamal has encouraged us to uh, write it down and to document it, and and there are national uh, personalities that have lived with the late Sheikh Zayed, and I ask God Almighty that that would give my mother a long and uh, and healthy life, which. She has a lot of, of real-time stories. Even uh, uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed calls her and talks to her, and she has this, an iron memory. And uh, there's a lot of uh, personalities that, uh, uh, or characters that have lived, uh, were contemporaries of the late Sheikh Zayed. And hopefully in the, in the, in the coming future, in the, uh, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to document and to have uh, the majalis of the Sage of Arab that is going to go through. And I hope that a lot of these, uh, of you who are with, the, with us here, is going to contribute and to be part of it. Uh, Mr. Jamal is going to be hopefully part of it. And I'm going to be a servant for that committee. And I'm ready to communicate with everyone to document this heritage, this legacy, to document it for the coming generations. Thank you very much for your suggestion. And the leadership is keen, has, uh, has a keen interest in this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Peace be upon you all. Dr. Mustafa, I'm a historian in the uh, history of the UAE. Your Excellency, first of all, thank you very much. And for the ECSSR, here in the UAE, we all know who's uh, Zayed, the late Zayed. However, we would like to, that there would be, or I wish that there would be a, a school or a college or a university of, of, for historical studies that talks about Zayed, not just for us here, but to be translated all of these works, not just to English, into English, but also to be translated into all languages of the world, that Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan 
was one of the best leaders uh, in history uh, after the uh, wise caliphs. We want to showcase that we have to to con to uh, document all of this because his contemporaries are not living anymore, or a lot of them are not have passed away. Zaid bin Sultan is not any less than uh, Nelson, the late Nelson Mandela or Che Guevara. Zaid bin, bin, bin Sultan is the only person in throughout history that was able to establish a country that that didn't have 180,000 uh, people back when it was first established. And we ask God Almighty. And this is not something that uh, the late Sheikh Zayed was short of uh, accomplishing. We wish that there would be a school or a college or even a university in, in historical study that specializes in, uh, in uh, teaching and gathering everything about Sheikh Zayed and to translating uh, his work, these works. We know who is Sheikh Zayed. But we would like humanity to know about Sheikh Zayed, not just now, but after uh, tens of years, de decades, for his uh, deeds to be taught to humankind. Thank you so much. Of course, the most important person to, to talk about Sheikh Zayed is his children, the, the, the children of the UAE, because Dr. Hashim has has asked this question and you and you were the answer that's why my brothers and sisters and and since we with the grace of god in, in the coming period we're going to have the majalis of the sage of arab we're going to be translate uh zaid and the environment zaid and the child and the child through uh, uh social media and uh, and al uh, which is which is not which is an effort by the children of the country through their uh, efforts to spread this uh, knowledge both east and west. I think everyone, both the nationals and those who have lived here with us and have been affected by this legacy and heritage, we have teachers that, that, that taught us <laughs> and helped this country to rise. And we ask those... Uh, the, people to spread this uh, uh, culture outside the country. Inside the country, there is, thank goodness, there's a lot of schools and uh, colleges and, um, and uh, universities that, that have adopted that. But we would like to spread that outside the country. We have a program in Al Tawasul Tent that has been going on for more than 15 years that, that, that we're spreading this culture, the culture of Zaid, uh, the goodness, and everyone who has communicated with us have found that, that everyone who is staying with us seen that. And this tent was able to deliver this legacy, this heritage, this historical message for this international personality to the world. And now we have a forum, a forum, which is the uh, Al Tawasul International Forum. And we would like to thank the, those who have helped do that and Dr. Jamal for uh, uh, setting the stage and uh, enabling us this uh, opportunity and we are uh, connecting uh, Al, uh, Al Tawassul Tent with the uh, ECSSR because we complete one another thank you very much for your question and uh, God's willing we're going to spread that message within the country and outside last question since we are short on time in short please very quickly please Thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Alibek Kimanov. I'm uh, the first secretary of the Embassy of Kazakhstan, and I would like to um, uh, t say thank you for, uh, for, for our distinguished prof professor, Dr. Um, His Excellency Dr. Abdullah, and um, uh, the Institute, uh, our appreciation. And, uh, you know, I would like to support uh, Mr. Professor and I would like to say that Kazakhstan is engaged and uh, uh, is engaged to, to the path of um, Sheikh Zayed. Be uh, and I would like to um, introduce you uh, to tell you about uh, experience of Kazakhstan. Uh, we translated uh, several books um, about Sheikh Zayed, and one of them it is uh, the strength of uh, the unity. 
uh, into Kazakh and Russian language. And you know, um, Ra um, Russian speaking world is very wide. And that's why we are like a bridge to show the path of Sheikh Zayed. And we are happy to, to be engaged to this. And um, for example, uh, it is my fir fir first month in this beautiful country. And it is the best country of the world, and uh, I'm sure. Uh, but my first time uh, of visiting the UAE was uh, in February this year as a tourist. I've been to Dubai, and I've seen a girl. She, she was 18 years old, and uh, she, her, her parents were from Armenia. It is past Soviet Union. And uh, she, was she was born here in the UAE because she was 18, and her parents came here um, 25 or 20 years ago. And uh, she d did her job, and she studied. And I asked her how she is. Uh, and she, she told me that the UAE, it is uh, her motherland. And you know, uh, it, it is a very great and interesting experience. And um, it should be shown to all the world, I'm sure. And Kazakhstan do the best uh, to, in, in this path. And um, also, I would like to, as a comment, um, you know, Minister of uh, Happiness. Really, it is uh, the only ministry um, in the U United Arab Emirates, uh, and it is very um, uh, need, need uh, thing, need ministry, need organ, uh, because uh, it has a very, uh, very important uh, function uh, to understand uh, is people of the UAE, UAE happy or not? And um, I would like to wish success to ministry and, uh, um, and uh, to the job that uh, the ministry uh, is doing, um, because it should be uh, an example for another world and other countries. Uh, and, uh, I think it, it would be a, a great um, continue, con continuation of um, uh, Sheikh Zayed's path because um, you know she uh, uh, because she, His Highness uh, Sheikh Zayed uh, he uh, showed how to do um, an oasis from the from the desert and uh, that is why uh, to show. Uh, to continue the showing of uh, such kinds of examples for all around, for all the world, uh, it is really an ex um, it is a really a steps uh, on this way. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Since we are short on time, we're going to have enough questions. At the end of this lecture, I would like to repeat, uh, on behalf of uh, His Highness Sheikh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Jamal Suwaidi, uh, the chairman of the ACSSR, we would like to thank His Excellency Dr. Abdul uh, Al Niadi and you, uh, dear guests, and looking forward to meeting you in other lectures. God bless you all.